Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Thank you for joining me this evening. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Praise Elohim. May his name alone be praised. May his name alone be lifted up high. Glory to Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. You are welcome online this evening. I celebrate. I celebrate you all this evening. Hallelujah. You are welcome online, Sister Ivie. Imafidon. God bless you. God bless you. All. God bless you. All. Thank you for joining me this evening or this night because it's already night time over here. Praise God. I bless God for your life. I thank God for your life. Today is another day for another topic on that boldness in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You are welcome online with me and God bless you. I bless God for your life. I exalt his holy name for your life. You are welcome online. Praise God. Before we go on, I would like us to have a short prayer. Hallelujah. Before we go on, glory to Jesus. Praise God. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you. It's only you, Lord. He's only you, Jesus. He's only you. Abu Nani Gie, Abu Nani Gie, Eze Abu Nani Gie, Abu Nani Gie, Abu Nani Gie. Chimo is only you. He's only you. It's only you, Jesus, it's only you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we bless your holy name, we magnify your name. Lord, we exalt your holy name for you alone is worthy to be praised. It's all about you, Jesus. It's not about me, but it's all about you. Father, Lord, as we are about to hear a little exhortation this night, Lord, touch my tongue with your color of fire. Father, speak your word through my voice and let everyone that joins me this night, let everyone that will see this video, let there be a divine intervention in their lives. Let there be a divine breakthrough. Let there be a divine revival. Let there be a divine upliftment. Let there be a divine restoration. Let favor flow in their lives and in their destiny. For in Jesus Christ, mighty and everlasting name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me this night. I'm so happy to see everyone. God bless you. God uplift you. God favor you. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Praise God. Today, we have uh, the topic of today is how do you see yourself? Praise God. How do you see yourself? How you see yourself in life matters. Praise God. How you see yourself matters. How you classify yourself matters. How you look at yourself, it matters. Praise God. The way you look at yourself, the way you carry yourself. Right now, I'm not talking about being arrogant or being proud. But I'm ta talking about be humble and also be classy. Praise God. We are going to open our Bible to Numbers, 20, Numbers 13, verse 33. Glory to Jesus. Numbers 13, verse 33. And it says, And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in, in our own sight as grasshopper. In their own sight. They say, in their own sight, they were like what? A grasshopper. And so we were in their sight. Hallelujah to Jesus. Did you see that? 
I don't want to go into the, I don't want to read from, uh, from verse 1 of, uh, of the chapter, chapter 13 to the end. But I just decided to pick this last verse, which is verse 13. It says, they, wear, they look like grasshopper in their own sight. And that was exactly the way they also look in the sight of those men. Praise God. What does that mean? That means the way you see yourself matters. The way you classify yourself matters. Do you see yourself as a failure? Do you see yourself as ugly? Do you see yourself as beautiful? Do you see yourself as handsome? Do you see yourself like somebody with capacity? Do you see yourself as somebody that can make it? Do you see yourself as somebody that is broken? The way you see yourself matters. Hallelujah to Jesus. The other verse in Proverbs, Proverbs 23 verse 7, it says, As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Praise God. If you see yourself as the one that have the capacity to become who God has destined you to be, you will get there. Praise God. Let us look at some stories, like the story of Gideon in Judges chapter 6. The Bible said, and the angel of the Lord said, Hey Gideon, that mighty man of valor. And according to the Bible, the Bible said Gideon looked around. Why? Because he did not see himself in that class. He did not see himself in that capacity of being a what? A mighty man of valor. Praise God. He saw himself as, as somebody that was not capable, that was not qualified to be in that capacity. When the angel of the Lord called him mighty man of valor, he didn't believe it. He even argued with the angel and started asking, if that is true, why is it they are, the family is like this? They are the poorest. They are the smallest. They are this. They are that. That is exactly what some people are doing today to themselves. They don't want to take the next step in life because to them, they see themselves as not being qualified for that level. They don't want to move forward because to them, they are wrapped up with so much fear, with so much intimidation that they don't believe that they are qualified for that level. Let me tell you something. As a human being, let no man have the capacity to intimidate you. Because that person that you think that has that capacity to intimidate you has something that you, that you there is something that you have that that person doesn't have. Praise God. Because for you to know that we all are distinct, we are unique in our ways. It's just like here in Europe. When, they, when you come to Europe, they take your fingerprint. Everybody around the whole world living on this earth, we all have different fingerprints. What does that mean? It means you are unique. It means there is something about you. Praise God. Don't ever look down on yourself. Don't ever allow anybody to intimidate you. Don't ever think you don't have the capacity. Look at what happened here. In this story, Moses sent them to go and look at the land, go and check the land that God has given to them. And when they got there, the Bible said these people brought evil reports. Imagine after spending four how many years on their way to this place. At the point of their breakthrough, fear came. A lot of people's failure is just at the point of their breakthrough. A lot of people going backward, it, they were just at the point of their breakthrough. Just a little intimidation, just a little fear, just a little tri a trials, just a little temptation. They just decide to walk back. Imagine what happened here. After so many years in the wilderness, they were at the point of their breakthrough. The only evil report that these two people brought was that the people in that same land that God has given to them are like they, were, they, they, they are giants. And they themselves, they are like grasshopper. And the people were looking at them like grasshopper. Why? Because they themselves has already looked at themselves. 
They have already allowed that inferiority complex to envelop them. They have already allowed that intimidating spirit to take over them. They have already allowed that power of that power of, of fear to intimidate them. And that was why they started looking at themselves like not be capable. Praise God. The way you see yourself matters. The way you classify yourself matters. The way you talk about yourself matters. The way you, see, the way you look at yourself when somebody else is around you, it matters. Praise God. There is something, there are some few things I wrote down. Hallelujah. Let me just read little things. Don't look at yourself now because of your past. Praise God. If you want to look forward, don't look at your past. Because if you are intimidated with your past, you are going nowhere. And let me shock you. Let me tell you something. Everybody around you have a past. Everybody around you have a past. That you don't know their past doesn't mean that they don't have a past. So don't let your past intimate, intimidate you. Don't let your past make you look down on yourself. Don't let your past deprive you of your future. Hallelujah to Jesus. Praise God. You have to tell yourself that you can. You can make it. You can get there. Praise God. The, these people looked at themselves like a grasshopper. So many people today, that is what is happening to them. They see themselves as not being qualified. Praise God. That you got pregnant out of wedlock doesn't mean that God now hates you. Doesn't mean that God has rejected you. Doesn't mean that you are no more qualified for any position in life. It's your past. The Bible said, it said all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. When you give your life to Christ, all things have passed away. All things will now become new. That is a platform for you to stand as a Christian. You don't have to downgrade yourself because of your past. Because a lot of people today, they are still looking at themselves, still classifying themselves with their past. You don't have to do that. That you make mistake in the past doesn't mean that your life must remain in that mistake. Doesn't mean that you must, you must keep on crying over that mistake. Doesn't mean that you, you must keep on looking at yourself, not qualified because of that mistake. No, no, no. Get up, dust yourself, and move forward in life. Hallelujah. Then I wrote another thing down. I said, don't tell me what people... There is something that my spiritual father, Dr. Chris Okafor, said. He said, don't tell me what people, ask, what people say about me. He said, tell me why they were comfortable in telling you what does that mean there are some people you need to avoid there are some people you need to push aside in your life those people that keep on reminding you of your past to get you intimidated push them aside those people that keep on coming to you with gossip that are really making you to look down on yourself listen anybody that comes to you with gossip also goes to somebody else to gossip about you it's just like when people are saying, my best friend, my best friend. How do you know that that person is your best friend? Because every best friend has a best friend. If you want to know whether that person is your best friend, how come the thing that you, the little secrets they share with that person, all of a sudden goes round? Praise God. Hallelujah. That is what you need to do, know about yourself. Don't allow yourself to be intimidated with what people are saying. Hallelujah. I wrote another thing down. Every, everyone has a past, like what I've said before. So don't let your past that somebody else is using against you to pull you down. Praise God. I wrote another thing. I said that you have that, that you had what? That you had a child out of bad luck. I've said that before. Don't shouldn't classify you, should it allow you to underrate yourself? Should it make you to look down on yourself? Do you know that a lot of people, those ones that are claiming to not to have children out of wedlock, 
Many of them is because they were successful with the, with the abortion they did. Praise God. And yet they say they are Christians. Hallelujah. So don't let your past make you look down on yourself. I said that your past. Praise God. Yes. I wrote another thing down. That yes, in, your, in the past, a lot of people know that you used to be a thief. You need to steal anything that doesn't belong to you. Or you used to, you used to lie a lot. Or you used, to, you used to live a bad life. You used to live a life of four one now. You used to live a life of drug. Or you used to live a life that was not pleasant to God. But now that you have given your life to Christ, don't let it intimidate you. Carry the word of God and preach the word of God without being intimidated with your past. Don't look at yourself not qualified. Praise God that you didn't go to school. You are not a graduate. You didn't go to the secondary school. That you didn't go to university. So, don't be intimidated. You still have time. You can go to school. You can study. Praise God. That you are an illiterate doesn't mean that you cannot do what others are doing. What you just have to do is to pick yourself together. Make sure that you leave a good foundation. Get a job or get a handwork and further your education by yourself. Hallelujah. Don't look down on yourself because you don't have a certificate like others. Praise God. Don't ever look down on yourself. Don't ever classify yourself to be a nobody. Don't ever allow anybody to intimidate you that you saw a woman like you because she's well dressed and you don't have that same quality of dress of what she's wearing. Listen, there is something that you have that she doesn't have. Praise God. Don't let that intimidate you. Don't let that make you look down on yourself. Don't let that make you classify yourself to be a nobody. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just like what Gideon said. In Judges chapter 6, Gideon personally did not believe that he was a mighty man of valor. When he was called a mighty man of valor, he was searching for who they were, they were referring to. Why? Because of who he has, who he has, who he has believed that he is, a nobody. Praise God. He was searching, looking for who? And you know that Gideon at the end, he was the one that brought the victory. Gideon was the one that brought the victory. Because that was who God has created him to be. Because that is who God, listen, God doesn't, God doesn't see you the way other, other people see you. God sees you the way he has created you to be. And that is exactly who you should see yourself to be. Hallelujah. That is who you should see yourself to be. Don't allow the way people have classified you to intimidate you and start seeing yourself that you are going nowhere. No, you are going somewhere. There is something special about you. There is something unique about you. Look at if, they, if, they were, if Caleb and Joshua was not among those people that were sent. The children of Israel would have taken over that land that God has given to them. Because of the evil report that the other two brought. That, they were, that the land is filled with giants. That they were like grasshopper. That even those people were looking at them as grass. Do you know that seeing yourself, looking down on yourself can even make you see your helper of destiny. And you will not be able to say a word because you are intimidated. Because to you, you are too small. To you, you are not even qualified to say something. To you, 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 you are a nobody. No. No. That is not how God sees you. That is not how God has created you to be. You were made in his own image. And likeness, I keep on repeating this word. So that it will get sink into your mindset. Listen, I'm not talking about being arrogant and being proud. You can be humble and classy. You can be humble and be very, very classy at the same time. Praise God. It all depends on you. It all depends on how you rate yourself. It all depends on how you see yourself. Praise God. 
The way you see yourself matters. That is the topic. How do you see yourself? When you stand in the front of the mirror, how do you see yourself? Do you see yourself too fat? Those that are fat want to be slim. Those that are slim want to be fat. Those that are dark want to be fair. Or white people here, they want to be black. During summer, you need to see how they are, how they are using cream just to, get them, just to get this dark skin that we have. The ones that are tall, too tall, they, they feel they are too tall. How I wish I weren't as tall as this. The ones that are short are, are, feel, are feeling inferior in the presence of the ones that are tall. How I wish. No! Don't do that to yourself. You are not helping yourself. You are not building yourself. When you allow the way you look at yourself or the condition or the situation around you to intimidate you, my brothers and my sister, I tell you, you are going nowhere. You are going nowhere. Hallelujah. Don't look at the issue around you. Don't look at the problem around you. Don't look at the situation around you and use it to look down on yourself. And use it to see yourself as a nobody. No. Please. I beg in the name of God. God loves you the way you are. If he doesn't love you the way you are. How come he came all the way from heaven. He sent his only begotten son. To come and die for you and me. If God doesn't love you. If God doesn't have you in mind. If God doesn't see you to be qualified for his love. If God doesn't see you to be qualified for his mission. If God doesn't see you to be qualified to be on this earth. How come he came and died for you and I? Praise God. Don't let anybody intimidate your gift. That is another point. The Bible said the gift of man. Make it a way for him. Hallelujah. Don't let anybody intimidate your kind of gift. That your gift is how to weave hair. Your gift is how to make hair. Listen, a lot of people have become very, very rich and well known through that gift. That your gift is to sing. Sing very well without allowing somebody else to intimidate you. If somebody else sings more than you, learn, what, learn from that person. Appreciate the life of that person. Appreciate the gift of that person. Listen, if you are the type that always appreciate what God has done some, for somebody else, God will also do your own. Hallelujah. Don't let anybody intimidate you because of the kind of gift God has given to you. Because that gift will take you far. Even if the people around you doesn't value it, there is somebody that needs it. There is somebody that you're going to do it for that will pick you up from, no, from nobody and make you to become somebody. Praise God. So the way you see yourself in life matters. Hallelujah to Jesus. I wrote some, one of few things down. Stop condemning yourself. God loves you. Pick up your Bible. And forget about the condemnation of men. Praise God. Forget about the condemnation of men. The way men will condemn you, if you are not careful, it will start making you to look down on yourself. It will start making you not to be qualified. It will start making you to feel, oh, I can't do it. You can. You have the capacity. That people are saying all sorts of things about you. People will always talk. That mat was given to them to talk. That mat was given to them to use it to say whatever they want to say. If they are saying, bringing out positivity, accept it. If they are bringing out negativity from that their mouth, reject it. Say back to sender. If you don't want to say back to sender, say B A S B T S. They won't understand what you say. BTS, back to sender. They'll be looking at you and be wondering what you say. Just say like that. If it's somebody that you know, you cannot say back to sender in their presence. Say BTF, BTS. 
Praise God. Because people condemnation can also intimidate you if you allow people condemnation to take over your life. Listen, nobody, it's very, very difficult for you to see somebody that wants you to grow. It's very difficult for you to see somebody that wants you to attain the same height with them. A lot of people, they always vomit out of their mouth negative words to you just to intimidate you. Why? Because they are afraid of your capacity. They know that when you rise, your capacity will be higher than theirs. So the best thing they try to do is to tell you negative words to make you look down on yourself. Why I'm here this night is to let you know that you shouldn't look down on yourself. The way you see yourself matters. Hallelujah. Like what I said before, you can be humble and also be very, very classy. Praise God. I wrote other a few things down here. Let me also read it for you. I want to also use the life of Apostle Paul. We all know Apostle Paul. He used to be a what? A murderer. A killer. He was destroying the apostles of Jesus Christ. Anywhere he sees them, he makes sure he destroys them. But when he found out, when he met Jesus... The boldness in Christ entered into him, entered him, and he started to preach the word of God. Let me tell you something. There are so many people today, they can't even carry this Bible up. Some people, when they are going to church, they keep their Bible inside a nylon bag or inside their bag. Yes, you can keep it inside the bag, but when the intention is not because you are hiding it, that is the aspect I'm talking about. Why? Because you feel when they see you carry your Bible, they will now look at you and say, that one that I used to know, praise God, don't let your past intimidate, your, intimidate you and make you not to work for God. Praise God. Many of you have calling, but because of your past, you are scared to even preach to the next person close to you. That is why I keep on telling people. A lot of people are going to go to hellfire because of the sin of sin of another person. You saw somebody just committed sin right now and you hold on to it without even knowing whether the person has asked God for mercy. The Bible said when prophet went to Ezekiah, he told Ezekiah, put your hands in order. That he has a few days to live. The Bible says, Ezekiah turned to the war. The prophet was no more there when Ezekiah turned to the war. The same God that told, told the prophet to go and tell Ezekiah that he's going to die. The same God told the prophet on the way to go back and tell Ezekiah that he has added to his age. That somebody just seen in your presence and you are holding on to it. My dear brothers and sisters. It's a big problem. It can hinder your prayer. It can lead you to have fire. Because you don't know whether that person has turned to the wall and asked God for mercy. So that you did something right in the presence of somebody. And you have asked God for mercy. And anytime you see that person, you get intimidated. No, 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 no. No, don't. What matters is, who God sees you. How God sees you, I mean. What matters is, God has forgiven you. God has changed you. God has touched your life. Hallelujah to Jesus. Don't allow because of, don't allow your past to stop you from preaching the gospel. Listen, people will hold your past against you. Mm. When you carry your Bible, they will say, look at her. This one. Or look at him. This one, let them be the one that is talking. But you see yourself in another angle of being who God has created you to be. Praise God. Paul the Apostles, we all know about, was a murderer. But when he met Jesus, the boldness in Christ Jesus entered him. His life changed. 
He no longer saw himself as a murderer. He didn't see himself as one or as the person that used to crucify Christians. He now started seeing himself in another dimension. And that was why God used him mightily. Listen, the way you see yourself matters in life. The way you see yourself can either take you up or bring you down. The way you see yourself can either take you to that place called there where God has destined your light to shine or it can hinder you. Just like this story in the Bible in Numbers 13. They got there and started seeing themselves like a grasshopper. And also, with their own, they also use their own man to say, even the people that were, the people were also looking at them as a grasshopper. How did you know? Did you enter their mind? How did you know that they were looking at you as a grasshopper? So many people' mentality needs to be rewind. In fact, it needs to be I don't know. It needs to be flushed out and be reexamined and be. In fact, I don't know how to to say it. You just see somebody. You get intimidated because to you, this person is thinking now and this person has started looking down on me and this person is feeling I'm not qualified and this person is thinking now and this person is looking at my shoe and this person is looking at what I'm wearing. Hey, are you in their mind? How do you know what they are thinking? Yes, a lot of people are being intimidated because of what they think that somebody else is thinking. Not even what somebody says now. Because of what they think somebody is thinking. Ha! Please, change the way you see yourself. Praise God. Pray, change the way you see yourself. Don't let anyone intimidate you. Don't let anybody actions towards you intimidate you praise god let me share one other things with you hallelujah praise god uh-huh like what i wrote down here i said a lot of people because of what somebody have what somebody told them when they were small or what they used to call them when they were small you know, I, like where I grew up, I was born and brought up in Benin. There are some people when they see them, they will be calling them big head. There are some people that will be calling them old woman. There are some people that will be calling them ugly muchache. There are some people that will be calling them um, big eyes. There are some people that will be calling, listen. And some people now grow up with those negative Where's in them? And as they grow up, they now allow those things now to start having infect on them now that they are grown up. No. Just like what we always say in our pidgin English, now then get their mouth. That is why I always tell some a lot of mothers, mind what people always say when they see your children. How can you see a little girl and start calling the little girl a, a old woman? Praise God. How can you call a little girl old woman? Who knows the who knows who knows the, the, the kind of power? And the Bible said there is power in the tongue. In the process of saying that that thing can stick to that little child when she grow up, people will start seeing her like an old woman. Praise God! Don't let what people used to call you when you were growing up make you look down on yourself. Yes, a lot of people because of those negative ways. That they were hearing when they were growing up. That people were, used to call them. That people used to pronounce on them. That people used to say about them. Those things have been inculcated into their heads. Now that they are grown up, any little thing they remember. No, don't see yourself like that. And another thing for you to see yourself in a higher level. In, a, in that same place where God has placed you. Don't imitate anyone. Don't ever imitate or be in a competition with anyone. Because you are unique. That person that you are looking at, there is something that you have that person doesn't have. 
Because when you are looking at somebody, when you are comparing yourself with somebody, when you are living a life of competition with somebody, when you are imitating somebody, you will always see yourself as fake. You will always see yourself as not qualified. You will always see yourself as a nobody. You will always see yourself as... Uh, in fact, sometimes it can even, just like what I wrote on Facebook some other time, it cannot build up anger in you. It can even build up self-hate. It can even turn you to become a sadist. There are some people that are sadists. Some people have become sadists. Because of what? The way they see themselves. And you know when you have a friend that's a sadist, you are in big trouble. Because the Bible said, evil communication corrupts good manner. And there is a saying that we normally say, show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. If you have a friend that is a sadist, if you are not careful, if you don't run, you will just find yourself in that same position. You start seeing yourself the way she's seeing herself. Praise God. Please, I beg you in the name of God. This is just what I came out this night to share with you. The way you see yourself matters. See yourself as a victor, not a victim. See yourself as, 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 you, as, as, as somebody that is unique and not a low profile. See yourself as a very beautiful woman, beautiful girl and not an ugly woman or an ugly girl. See yourself as a very cute, handsome guy, handsome man, and not an ugly man. The way you see yourself, transfer it, it calls out and make people to start seeing you that way. There are some people, they cannot look straight into the eyes of any man. When they are talking, their head is like this. And you know, like in Europe, when white people are talking to you, they look straight into your eyes. That is why when some people are lying, the white police will know that they are lying because they connect, they try to connect with your eyes. They try to read from, with your eyes. They try to look deep in, in, through your eyes. And when you are lying, you will not be able to look straight into their eyes. And before you know it, they know you are lying. Praise God. Don't let anything make you look down on yourself. That you see your friend now have four kids. And you don't have no, you don't have yet. No. Don't be intimidated. Don't look at yourself as being, don't look at yourself as someone who has failed in marriage. Remember Penina has a lot of sons. But just only one that Hannah had name is in the Bible somewhere. That your friend has document and you don't have. Don't look down on yourself. Because that your friend that have document now. There was a time that he or she didn't also have document. So don't, don't get intimidated because of it. Don't look down on yourself. Because it's possible there is a reason why God has not allowed it to happen. It's possible that that baby has not come at that very moment because there is a mission for that child that is coming. Yes, I know there are some certain things that are spiritual. Yes, I'm a daughter of a prophet. When it comes to spirituality, my father, Dr. Chris Okafor, taught us a lot of things, we his children. So I know that there are some that are spiritual. But first, before you start dealing with the spiritual aspect, you stay, stand strong. Tell yourself that you can fight the battle. Feed yourself with boldness in Christ Jesus. Don't look down on yourself. Don't get intimidated because of what somebody else has that you don't have. Praise God. That's just a few things I came out this night to tell you. I will always be out every Thursday night just to share one or two things with you. Because a lot of things is happening right now in the old world. A lot of people are in pain. They don't need that, 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 that preaching of condemnation right now. What they need is encouragement. What they need to hear is that God loves them. 
The Bible said Jesus came to die for you and I when we were yet sinner. Praise God. That is what the Bible said. I didn't say it. That, that, listen, there is something you need to know. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of who God has created you to be. Be proud of what you are doing right now that is fetching you something to live on. You know, let us look at Nigeria. Before this coronavirus, a lot of bankers used to look down on the market women. A lot of lawyers, a lot of all those ones that have white collar sh uh, sh uh, shirt job or red collar or blue collar shirt job or whatever they call it. They used to look down on the market women. They used to look down on those women that have their little kiosks in front of houses. They used to look down on those sisters that are carrying bags that are selling one or two things. They used to look down on those brothers that are doing petty petty business. Now, some of those white collar job people have lost their job. Do you know that those people that you were looking down on, those market women that you are looking down on, if you are not careful now, you will end up buying food credit from them. That is why you must not look down on anybody. Mm -mm. My father in the Lord said, Don't look down on anybody. Don't conclude about anybody because you are not their God. Praise God. So for you not to be intimidated too, for you not to look down on yourself too, stop looking down on other people. Stop classifying other people in a wrong manner. Yes. If you want to go up, then start looking up. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. That is one thing everybody needs to know. What you need now is boldness in Christ Jesus. Through boldness in Christ Jesus, you will know who you are. I'm going to preach one day on the topic, who am I? Because a lot of people don't really know who they are. If you know what you carry, you won't look down on yourself. If you know who God has created you to be, you won't look down on yourself. You will start seeing yourself not being qualified. You will start seeing yourself as a nobody. Listen, who is your mentor? I will preach it one day. You see this Bible that I'm carrying? Praise God. There was a time, because of what happened in my life, I thought it was over. I thought this Bible... How can I hold on? How can I bring, carry this Bible and preach to people? I thought I was not qualified. But my father in the Lord, Dr. Chris Okafo, told me. He said, listen, who God has made you to be, who God has created you to be, is what you should focus on. Not what people are saying or seeing. Or, or what people have, have, have decided or concluded you to be in life. Hallelujah. He said, people will talk. Yes. People will qualify you, yes, say, but focus on where you are going to. And that word built me up. That word, I almost dropped my Bible because of so many preaching of condemnation. Hey, you are seen. You are condemned. You are not qualified. You, you, you do this. Ah, hair fire. You do that. Hair fire. Hey, I thought it was over. But thank God for the mentor God has given to me makes me to start looking at myself in another dimension. Thank God there are a lot of people God have touched their, used me to touch their life today. That is why when I see some men of God and women of God, oh, the only thing they preach is condemnation. Listen, the Bible said God is love. Let people know that God loves them. Let people know how much God loves them. If God doesn't, the Bible says, Jesus came all the way from heaven to die for you. And even while we were yet sinners. Praise God. There is a difference between falling in sin and living in sin. Hallelujah. Don't let that thing that has happened or that you did in the past. Make you to look at yourself. Not being qualified to carry this Bible or to preach the word of God. Praise God. The way you see yourself 
matters. Look at what they said in the Bible. They were like grasshoppers. And imagine if Caleb and Joshua did not pick up courage and said, we, we possess the land. Imagine, oh, look at this story. God has given them the land. That means God has also created you to be great. God has created you to be somebody. It's you now that is now looking down on yourself. Instead of you to pick up yourself, dust yourself, place yourself, start seeing yourself in that position where God has placed you in. You are not looking down on yourself, disqualifying yourself. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please, I beg you, my brothers and sisters, stop seeing yourself not being qualified. God loves you. Jesus loves you. He died for you. The Bible said God is love. Yes, I know he's also a consuming fire. But he's also a, a loving father. This was what the Pharisees were doing in the old in the old in the in the old by in the old testament. Always making people to see God as a wicked God. Always making people to see God as a harsh God. Always making people to see God as a, 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 a God that doesn't forgive. No, he's a merciful God. But that is not a license to sin. There was something a sister wrote on Facebook. I don't know if I call her name, whether she would like it. She said that she is a sinner that loves God. That is just exactly the same story that happened in the Bible. Where the Pharisees or the Sadducees or what they call them, when they when they and once other man was in the in the in the in the in the, in the synagogue. The other one was praying, God have mercy upon me. I know I have sinned. Forgive me my sin. Look upon me with your eyes of mercy. And the other one, self-righteous man was saying, I am not like that sinner. I am not like that sinner. I, I, I follow what the Bible is saying. I fast every day. Hallelujah. A lot of people preaching is based on self-righteousness. Self-righteousness and condemnation. That is not what God has sent you to preach to people. Let people know how much God loves them. Let them know that they have boldness in Christ Jesus. Let them know that they even the Bible said the righteous will, will, will fall several times, but they will still rise up. You that is condemning, you that is preaching condemnation, you that is making people to look down on themselves that they cannot be forgiven for what they have done. Listen, the Bible says you should be careful, lest you too will fall. Praise God. Mind what you listen to, because what you listen to can make you start looking, at, looking down on yourself. I wrote something down here. I said, stop pointing fingers. Your happiness depends on you. How you see yourself and how you see things. Your happiness depends on you. How you see yourself and how you see things. Stop pointing fingers. That somebody did something to you in the past. Let it go. Forget about it. And press on. And see yourself that you are above that issue. Praise God. And how you see things matters. Hallelujah. Stop blaming people for your past. Rather, focus on your future. If you want to focus on your future, if you want your future to be bright, if you want to succeed in life, if you want to be who that God has created you to be, how you see yourself matters. Mm -hmm. Don't let condemnation of people start people start making you to look down on yourself. I wrote that down. Don't allow greed and lack of contentment make you to start looking down on yourself. Yes, greed can make you look down on yourself. Lack of contentment can make you look down on yourself. 
Please, I beg you in the name of God. How you see yourself matters. From this night, keep on saying, keep start prophesying over your life. Start saying positive words over your life. Look at Gideon in Judges chapter 6. He never believed that he was a mighty man of valor. But when he caught the revelation of who he actually is, he became the mighty man of valor. There is so much potential in you. There is so much favor upon you. Your greatness will manifest if you start walking towards it. The way you look at yourself will either take you up or bring you down. Praise God. So from this night, start seeing yourself as the best. Don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about being proud and arrogant. That one is a sin. But like what I said before, you can be humble and still be classy. Yes. You can be very, very humble and be very, very classy. Don't let what you don't have right now make you look down on yourself. Don't let what you don't have right now make you classify yourself because you can have it. I told somebody on phone, I said, as far as I'm concerned, no woman can intimidate me on earth. Why? Because that thing that you have is yours. It's not mine. Mine is mine. Praise God. The earlier you start acknowledging that, the better for you. Praise God. This is what I just have to say this night. How you see yourself can determine your future. From this night, like I said before, start seeing yourself as a victor and not a victim. Start seeing yourself as a cute fellow and not an ugly fellow. Start seeing yourself as someone with capacity and not someone with nothing. Praise God. Even as a man of God and as a woman of God, there is something God has deposited in you that you need to also see as a capacity. When God calls you, he backs you up. That things is somehow now, don't let it make you start seeing yourself and not be qualified. There are some pastors, the only thing they know how to do is to mingle with pastors that have members like them. Yes, I'm not saying you shouldn't follow your class. But also remember, there was a day, there was a time you started from this crash. So don't intimidate the ones that are coming because God is watching you. Hallelujah. There is one thing I hate most on earth is intimidation. That you are a senior man and you intimidate the juniors. God is watching you. Life, what goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. Hallelujah. In Nigeria, Buhari is the president now. In the next how many years, he will be ex-president. No position is permanent. So that you are on top. Humble yourself. And help those that are below to come up. Praise God. That you have a senior over you. Don't allow that position to intimidate you too. Please. I beg in the name of God. That is just the little word I decide to share with you this night. How you see yourself determines how far you will go in life. Don't ever be intimidated by any man or by any woman. Because there is something that you have that they don't have. Praise God. Hallelujah. I can see everyone. I celebrate you, woman of God. Prophetess Evelyn, 
Emmanuel, I celebrate you. Philomena Semota Okotie, I celebrate you. Ah, man of God, Chuks Unduka, I celebrate you. Praise God. Chuku Dixon, I celebrate you. Let me wear my glasses. Hallelujah. Ah, woman of God, favor Israel, I celebrate you. My covenant sister, Evangelista Trata, I celebrate you. Hallelujah. I celebrate you all. See, ah, woman of God. Sylvia Rainey, oh, guys, I celebrate you. I bless God for your life. Hallelujah. I can see everyone. I bless God for your life. Ah, my darling sister. Be uh, Beauty Belo Saige, I celebrate you, sis. Hallelujah. Flora, I celebrate you. Glory to God. I celebrate each and every one of you. Thank you for joining me this night. Judith Vincent, my darling, I celebrate you. Chinyere Stanley, I celebrate you. I celebrate each and every one of you. Praise God. Please help me to share this video. Help me to share this video. Help me to like this video because there are so many people out there that need to know that the way they look at themselves determines how far they will go in life. Praise God. I celebrate all the men of God in the house. I celebrate all the women of God in the house. Calling Sisikwe, God bless you. God bless you. I celebrate God for your life. Oh, my love, I celebrate you. Hallelujah. Ah, I celebrate you, sir. Man of God. Prophet of Elohim. Im Prophet Emmanuel Esesobo, I celebrate you, sir. I'm honored to have you here. Please, I celebrate you, sir. Hallelujah. Chuku Dixon, I celebrate you. Praise God. Please help me to share this video. Let everyone hear this message. A lot of people right now are depressed. A lot of people right now are wetting their pillows every night. A lot of people are crying. A lot of people are down. Because of what this pandemic has brought to this world, what they need to hear now is words of encouragement. What they need to hear now is what that will boost their, 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 their Christianity. It's what that will boost their energy. Hallelujah. As in a one name, hmm. One Yoma, I celebrate you. Praise God. Please, I beg you. Woman of God, Sylvia Rogers, I celebrate you. Please, I beg in the name of God, help me to share this video. Let them know that how they see themselves determines how far they will go. Praise God. And how you, determine, how you see yourself determines how far you go. When you see yourself filled up with boldness in Christ Jesus, you will go far. I bless God for your life. Thank you for joining me this night. Hallelujah, Lord, I thank you. I bless your holy name. I worship you for this word. I thank you, Lord, for the grace. I thank you, Lord, for your mighty power. And I pray, Lord, let this word bring changes, bring salvation, bring healing. Listen, bring healing into lives of people in the name of Jesus. A lot of people, it's not sickness that they have now. They, that healing, they need that healing from emotional pain of the past. Praise God. God bless you. God lift you up for joining me this night. Hallelujah to Jesus. I don't even feel like going. I'm enjoying the time with you all. Praise God. But I just have to go. Praise God. I thank you all. God bless you. Share the video. Let them see. Let people see the video. Let them listen to it. Let them know that their life, their destiny is in their hands. How they see themselves depends on how far they will go. And God bless you. Thank you very much. I celebrate you all. Always remember this. Boldness in Christ Jesus will make you to look at yourself as being a victorious personality. Important personality. For you to know how important you are, God gave his only begotten son for your sake. I love you. God bless you. Bye.